it is another beautiful Saturday morning and we have just parked up and we are at Lister Park for Bradford Park Run. Now it's a park run I've run quite a few times before but the course has changed since I was last here so I'm really excited to see the new course. It actually is reversed. So um, there's a hill called Teeny Tiny Hill which we used to have to run up and now we're going to run down it so it's going to be a pretty different run. So the start and finish are in different places to where they were before. So we're going to go and find those. We're going to head to the finish. Um, we've got a bag here just with some coats in. It's a pretty cold morning. So we'll go and pop our coats at the finish before finding the start. All of the geese are walking with us. I think we're a bit disappointing to them though because we haven't got anything for them. There's some wild bird seed in the car but I haven't brought it. <laughs> Poppy thinks she's rounding up the geese. Oh, this is so lovely. Arthur James. Um, I actually don't think I've been at Bradford Park Run since Arthur's memorial run. And we had all of his race numbers and things here and looking through those, he'd made a note on all the back of them um, of what the weather was like at every race he'd done. So yeah, how lovely Arthur's finish. We are just walking down to the start now. It's a Saltair Striders takeover today, which is great because in the week they'd posted and they had a totally full volunteer roster right at the start of the week. So I love that relationship between running clubs and park runs. Thanks for having us. Saltair Striders today providing all the marshals. There's also club champions race. There's a lot of our runners running as well. I'll be pushing ourselves hard. There's a storm, it's a storm at the back. Not our storm at that's about. We'll find out later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any first timers here? Yay! Well done. Thank you, Thomas. Can you talk? Pour it. Oh, no, there's definitely two. <laughs> <laughs> I know, should we wait and see the dinosaur? Do you want to wait and see the dinosaur? <laughs> should we wait for it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Poppy, we are delighted, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> this dinosaur is hilarious. <laughs> Let's chase it. Oh, I can't do the Make sure it doesn't eat you. <laughs> you could ask if it's vegetarian. <laughs> that has absolutely made our morning. Dinosaurs should be compulsory at Parkway. Thank you, Marshall. <laughs> We're just running past the children's playground and it looks absolutely fantastic. I think it's had an upgrade during the COVID pause um, because wow, 
We cannot wait to finish and play on the playground. The finish run was right next to it. So this is quite a different experience because this used to be the long flowing downhill and now it's a gradual climb up the side of the park and uh, yeah it'll be interesting to see what teeny tiny hill is like to run down. One of the main bonuses for me about running this way around is seeing the amazing Cartwright Hall because you used to run past and it would be behind you but it's so stunning, it's lovely to run towards it like that. It's just a beautiful building. The bandstand behind us used to be like the hive of activity because that was the finish straight just up that hill behind us. So it's a bit strange seeing it all just completely quiet but yeah everybody's down there now and it works better for us doesn't it Poppy because it's by the playground <laughs> we are on teeny tiny hill <laughs> and I tell you what it doesn't seem so big when you're running down it <laughs> it's so funny it's not that steep at all <laughs> Running up this used to be so hard. <laughs> really funny the way the perspective is completely different. Thank you, Marshall. Hi, Yay, thank you, Valentin. I absolutely love Park Run World. We just bumped into Ben Turner, a friend who we met in South Africa, traveling in 2008. How amazing is that? So that was the best second lap at a Park Run I think ever. How nice. Ah, I just love it. Just walking up the drag of a hill and speculating as to whether the cafe is going to be open because it didn't used to be and they used to have a little coffee van. Oh, Marshall, do you might know? It will the cafe be open? Oh, they don't know. We don't know. <laughs> Thank you so Nobody much, Marshall. Knows. Nobody knows. So yeah, that'll be a surprise at the finish. <laughs> if it's open, then hooray! We have deviated off course because we spotted these fountains. They're beautiful. Just next to Cartwright Hall, and we've seen them. But wow. <laughs> Just feel so lucky to come to places like this. It's probably a little bit naughty to deviate so much from the route, but how can you not? Look at that! Look at that! And we're miles from the tail walker, so nobody will ever know unless I'm filming it <laughs> and then telling everyone. I think these are brilliant because they show you the way instead of having to have a marshal. <laughs> They're good, aren't they? And they protect you. Look, the bin's got one as well. <laughs> There's a whole lot of exploring going on today. This is the meteorological station. We never knew. Um, so that's amazing. And it's got a piece of art on each side depicting each season. Running that way down Teeny Tiny Hill is great as well because you run towards that sort of castle entrance to the park and the monument. So it just is a much better way around. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, dinosaur. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> the dinosaur's finished. <laughs> Thank you, thank you Timers, thank you. It wouldn't be Bradford Park Run without an uphill finish, so they've managed to find a little bit of hill. 225. <laughs> oh, don't be making those noises, Ali, that's no good. Yes, got it. Yay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> right, let's return this token. Oh no, or oh, throw it on the floor. Sorry, we've all got gloves on. Thank you. Thank Additional you. marshalling duties. <laughs> Thank you. We haven't seen each other for years. Oh, this is Ben, who I was saying oh, about. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say anything bad, I promise. Um, and the tail walk has just come in, so the event's now wrapping up. There's a few things in the park we haven't seen, so we might just explore one or two other bits. This park is incredible. It's so nice when the council put money back into the local facilities because, wow, this is not just fun for kids. <laughs> that looks so fun! <laughs> <laughs> We're coming! <laughs> We're on a group expedition up the slide. The big helter skelter. Claire, isn't this a good way to celebrate your cow? Happy 50th park run! <laughs> Bye bye! Have fun! Do this way. My turn! Whoa, it's dark in here! Ah, I slid quite well! <laughs> well, it wasn't as fast as I thought it would be, but that was pretty cool. An hour and 26 minutes after I started running, I've stopped my Garmin. There's rain and the sun and they make a child with a banana. <laughs> they make a rainbow. Look at them. On the advice of the Park Run team, we have come to explore the area up behind the old start of Park Run, and it's pretty magical. It's my ninth visit to Lister Park, or is it my eighth visit? It's my eighth or ninth visit to Lister Park. And I'm ashamed to say, I never knew that these botanical gardens were here. This area is just lovely, so peaceful. You'd never guess it, you're just a mile from the centre of Bradford. The one thing that Bradford Park Run doesn't really have is a cafe. They used to have a coffee man who brought his van into the park, but he's not here today. So we are going to head off to Poppy's school Christmas fair and we can have our post park run cake there. Thanks for coming with me to Bradford Park Run. We've had an amazing morning thanks to Saltair Striders and all the volunteers. It's been an amazing day. We'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching.